Hey, folks, before we get to today's episode of Connections, a little programming note. The broadcast that you're about to watch was originally filmed for last Friday. Now, as everyone knows by now, we pre-record these episodes so they don't have to be up at midnight every night. Unfortunately, for reasons we don't know, the New York Times decided to switch the order of the Connections puzzles. Uh, and so this was originally broadcast for a few minutes on midnight on Friday. We changed it when we realized they had done that. And so now you're going to watch this broadcast for the first time. We apologize for any inconvenience and please disregard the incorrect dates that may be appearing on your screen. And with that, let's get back to the show. Let's see what we have here. Hopefully a nice, easy, easy one, right? Ear, crest, kettle, dryer, scope, brush, range, coat, iron, arms, comb, shield, oil, reach, steel, and extent. Is it just me or the word oil or oily has been in like every puzzle this week? <laughs> I just feel like that's what's happening here. Um, dryer, range, uh, hmm. I was going to say these are uh, appliances for washing clothes, but I know, I'm, you know, I can't go past that. A kettle, uh, things that uh, whistle. What else would whistle? Anything else would whistle? No. Uh, things that, that make things, things, kitchen items. Um, no. Okay. A crest, a coat of arms, um, a shield. Um, things that a knight would have, a shield, a coat of arms, a crest, um, things on a flag, things you might find on a flag in the Middle Ages, um, a coat, a shield, arms, a crest. I'm wondering if that is things you might see on a flag, well, heraldry terms. Hmm, that's an interesting one. I said Middle Ages. <sighs> Boy. But I also then said things you'd see on a flag. So I think to be completely honest here about this, I don't think I get a point on that. Uh, like We were in the same kind of wheelhouse conceptually, but I, I qualified that as a flag. <sighs> I don't think I... I, I you may or may not be feeling generous enough to give me the half point because I was in the same time period. I don't know. We'll see. Well, this is why the comments will be interesting to see how you judge that one. But let's move on here. Okay, so um, an ear of corn, kettle corn, ear of corn. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. Not sure about that one. Uh, an extent, a range, a scope. Oh, I like that. The reach, the range, the scope, the extent, a measurement of how much. Breadth. Yes, okay. That's a synonym. All right. So we have the yellow and the blue. We need the green and the purple. Um, honeycomb. Uh, comb. Uh, steel, brush, oh boy, iron, I, I feel like there's stuff related to metals here, right? Um, hmm, brass, brass is, kettle is brass, um, things that get hot, a dryer, an iron, a dryer, things that get hot. A kettle, oil, things that get very hot. Oil, an iron, kettle, a dryer. I mean, steel could get hot, but I don't think that's what we're looking for here. Um, is that the answer? Things that get very hot, things that are supposed to get hot. No, and it wasn't one away. Interesting. Okay, well, that was not the right direction to go. I feel like something about corn, too, an ear of corn, 
But that's all I got. Kettle. I've heard kettle corn. I know I've heard that. Kettle corn, ear of corn. Why do I feel like I've heard steel corn before? I can't get that out of my head. I can't get that out of my head that I've heard steel corn. But I don't know what the other corn would be. Comb corn, oil corn. Um, ways to serve corn, to prepare corn. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, parts of doing laundry, maybe? An iron, a dryer, a brush, a comb. Are these laundry items? Hair tools. Wow. <laughs> a laundry item. Well, I mean, there is a clothes dryer, and you do iron your clothes, in my defense. But I guess... The laundry item of a comb and a brush, I should have really reconsidered. So, I, oh man, I think honestly, I'm at maybe one and a half points so far. Now, here we have steel, kettle, ear, and oil. I feel like these are connected to corn. I, I cannot, I'm sorry, but I can't get that out of my head. So sometimes, like, when you have so much, you're so resolute, you've got to go with it. So something to do with corn is what I'm going with here. Words before drum. It was not corn. <laughs> Ear drum, kettle drum, oil drum, steel drum. It was technically a phrase. Okay, so here's where I start defending myself. There is such a thing as an air of corn. I know I've heard kettle corn. I know I've heard kettle corn in my life. I don't know about oil and steel. But because I was so confident, I again, I'm trying to defend the indefensible here. I don't know why I'm digging in. These are words before drum, ladies and gentlemen. They're clearly words before drum. And I, I will defer to that. So I think at best I get a one and a half points here, which is fine because I learned something. And that's the beauty of this game. You're going to learn something each and every day, uh, unless you're a really smart cookie, in which case it's just fun to watch me traipse through it. <laughs> Well, folks, thank you as always for watching. This is a fun time. Uh, can't wait to see the comments. I'm sure it'll be a fun blast. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for some more connections.